All right, this sheet is going to be about calculating home water sources and how much water a house is using based upon problem eight from To Catch the Rain. And so uh, I don't like switching between sheets and stuff, so I'm going to open up a new sheet and then I'm just going to copy and paste in what it is I'm trying to solve. So let's start a new spreadsheet here in Google Sheets. Um, first thing I'm going to do is give this thing a name because I want it to be easy to find in case I shut everything down. So this name maybe is uh, Water Audit uh, Engineering 308 Fall 2020 and my name. All right, so now it has the name. We're doing great already. Uh, then I am going to go to Canvas. There was the assignment there. I'm just going to take that part of the assignment, that's the meat of it, and screenshot that using the snipping tool. I'm going to paste that in, make this small off to the side so that I can uh, find it and follow it later. We're going to be focusing on this one right here, which says sheet one book calcs. Um, this says the first sheet of the workbook should uh, calculate the water usage based on problem eight. Um, so then I am going to go to the book, which I have here in PDF form. And again, I'm going to use my snipping tool. I'm just going to snip this right from the book and paste that in down here and make it small. But this way I can follow it later. So I'll just cut and paste there. All right. So uh, I might leave these in when I'm done with my spreadsheet. I might not. Uh, but now they're here and I don't have to switch back and forth. Um, so let's do some easy setup stuff. It says uh, name this first sheet book calc. So I'll come down here, double click, type book calcs. Great. Um, then uh, it, um, you know, I'm going to go back to Canvas. I'm going to take this, control C. I'm going to paste it in here under instructions. I'm, I'll probably make these instructions better, um, but now I have something to start off instructions with. And uh, let's maybe make instructions like four cells wide and maybe four rows down. And then I can merge and send into those using this merge cells tool. And uh, uh, I also want it to um, uh, word wrap. So here's my word wrap. And let's make it left aligned. Maybe it was already. Um, I think that that's good enough for now. Uh, we'll do some more for formatting later. And I'll also probably wordsmith this to be more like instructions for the user to use your spreadsheet when you're done. Um, uh, the next thing I'm going to need is a spot for conversions. And uh, this will probably grow um, as we go along. And uh, I'm going to probably get this in gallons per day. And I noticed that I have liters as one of my things. So let's go ahead and just put in a liters conversion right now. Um, so you can look that up and then paste that in and then call this liters per gallon. And let's give it a, a, a citation as well. This was from the engineering toolbox. Uh, or actually, that was in to catch the rain. So we can just use to catch the rain like that. Um, we'll do some formatting on conversions and stuff later as well. Um, so there's a lot of ways we can approach this. What I'm going to do is break it up into uh, a few sections. There's this thing that's liters per flush. So that's like a per use thing. Um, and then there's these that are all flow rates out of faucets. And then there's these gallons per wash things that happen uh, uh, per week. So let's do the first one on uh, sources based on uses per day. Great. Um, and we'll give a source uh, and usage. And um, I already know that I'm going to need another column. You might not notice that yet. And you might say, OK, usage, rate, and total per day would be some nice headers. And so your first source is going to be your toilet. Great. And our usage is two. But you need to, you can't write two flushes per day in the same cell because then you can't do math on it, right? If I say equals this plus two, it's going to be, it doesn't know what to do with that. I wouldn't know what to do with that either. So what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight these and move them over. Um, uh, or I can take control C uh, or control X if I want and control V and then here control X and control V so that we can put units on things. So then this usage will be two flushes 
per day. Whoa, there we go, per day. Um, and our rate is two liters per flush because that's what this assignment tells us right here. So this one is going to, to that one. Um, uh, and then uh, I'll do some math in a second with my totals per day, but this is already getting a little hard to look at. What I'm gonna do is take usage and merge and center those, uh, or merge and then center those. Um, and then I can do that same thing again, or I can use this format painter, click that, and then click here, and it'll do the same thing. And I could do it again, click this and click here, so it's done it to all of those. And those are probably gonna look best if they're bolded, um, and then let's put some borders on them, uh, like just all around borders. Um, the source is based on usage per day. Let's go ahead and format this too. Uh, I often don't format until I'm further along, but I'm just really feeling like uh, I want some formatting. So I merged all those cells. I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna bold it. I don't know, maybe you'll go crazy. Maybe you'll take the background and turn it dark gray, and then take the text and then turn it white. You know, so you have this kind of strong header there. Okay, great. And now, first math that we're gonna do, I suggest doing this on paper first, but the first math we're gonna do is finding the total per day for this toilet. But I really think that this total per day should be in gallons per day. Uh, I think it's gonna make everything, most of our other units are in gallons, it just so happens that our toilet was rated in liters. So what we can do is just do this math right here this equals uh, two liters per flush, and we're gonna convert that to gallons. To do that, we'll have to divide by this conversion, because this was in liters per gallon. Do the math on paper, and you'll see that what this gets us is a total number of gallons per flush, right? And then we can just multiply by our flushes per day. Boom, multiply by that flushes per day. Uh, so now we have a number there. It's got too many significant figures. So I'm gonna come up here, and this is opposite to how it is set up in Excel, just which direction is which. But we're gonna go this way and make this number a little bit more reasonable to look at, uh, maybe just like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my unit here as well, even though it's in the header. Okay, great. We don't have any more just like this sources based on uses per day. But you could, maybe you have one toilet, maybe you have two toilets, maybe you have three toilets, so you could keep going down, but we're kind of done there. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some borders on this. This might be too strong of borders. And I'm gonna format, get some colors, and get we'll get a little color key going on. Uh, we'll get some colors for our inputs. Um, so let's do uh, orange for our inputs. So here we can have, uh, 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 what would this be, a legend, uh, a legend, a color code? Um, and so this orange that we just selected, that orange right there, this will be input. Um, and we'll clean that up in a little bit. Uh, so then this one is also, I can just format paint this to here. This is an input. Um, and then this one is a calculation. And so um, maybe we want to make our calculations the color of it orange. This is kind of based upon uh, what Excel does automatically. That orange is, a, is not quite dark enough for me, so maybe that orange right there. So then um, this would be uh, a calculation, would be this formatting right here. So we'll go ahead and uh, I'll just format paint that to there, and we'll format paint this one uh, to here so it has those, those covers. Okay, so we have inputs and calculations, great. Um, now I can give this one a total, it's a little uh, obvious, but here's the total. Let's go ahead and right justify this. Uh, um, I'm gonna bold it. This total is just equal to this. We don't have any other toilets, it's just one toilet, kind of boring, but there it is, and gallons per day. Um, and I'll go ahead and put my, uh, maybe just one big box around this so it looks more like a total. Uh, so one box like that. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and bold that and also make it orange. So it's a calculation, but it's bold because it's kind of a, whoops, we wanted to do that with, let me control Z to undo that, and we'll do it with this one here. No, so it's that orange, but it's bold, that's a total. Okay, let's go ahead and just copy this formatting, copy it and paste it right here. Copy, the, not just the formatting, but everything. 
the math got messed up, but no problem, we're gonna come back and change stuff. This could be sources based on flow rate. So here's sources based on flow rate. Um, we have our source, we have our usage, we have our rate, we have our total per day. This is all looking good. And we have uh, a sink, a second sink, a shower, and a host. We have four things there. So I could come here and I can right click and say, um, insert one below. Um, and uh, I, I could keep doing that. I can highlight both of these and I could say inter insert two below. So now I have some of my formatting going. Um, some things got kind of messed up, so I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna drag it down with that little blue box. Cool, all right. Let's now fix all this stuff. I'm gonna delete everything that's in here and in here, because I don't wanna accidentally get anything wrong. And instead of this being liters per flush, this is now gallons, gallons per minute, gallon per minute. Uh, and of course I can just copy and paste or I can drag down with the little box, however it is you want. And this isn't flushes per day, this is now minutes per day because that's what it's asking for. I'll do this other way where I take this little box and drag it down, great. Um, and then this was sink, well we'll give it a sink one, we'll give it a name, sink one. Maybe this was your kitchen sink. Um, and then sink two, and then shower, and then hose is what all those were. Uh, and then coming down, it looks like it was 15 minutes per day, 20 minutes per day, eight minutes per day, and 10 minutes per day. And over here on the rate in the gallons per minute, it looks like it was 1.5, 1.8, 2.3. If I get something wrong, it's no problem because it's Excel and it'll fix it. Uh, it'll be easy to fix later. Um, on my total per day, now this math is really easy. It just equals my... Uh, gallons per minute and my minutes per day, right? Multiplied together, so 15 minutes per day times, one, whoops, 1 1.5 gallons per minute. And notice I just clicked in those cells to make them show up in this formula, I hit enter, and now there it is, 22.5. And then I'm gonna take this blue box and I'm just gonna drag it down. Right? Now, when I dragged it down, notice that the cells dragged with me. There's a way we can stop that from happening if we don't want it to happen, but we actually did want it to happen. We wanted each of these to drag down with us and it did that. And then finally for total, I'm just gonna equal sum, type equal sum. You could also click this E, this epsilon up here. Um, and I'm gonna highlight those four because that's what we want our sum to be. Great, so we now have uh, a sum for our sources based on flow rate. Uh, and then let's go ahead and just copy this again, this whole thing, oops, I just hit V, but undid that, Control-Z, so Control-C, copy that all again, uh, Control-V, and this one's gonna be sources based on uses per week, because those are the last two things we have, so sources based on usage per week. Um, and it looks like there's only two, so I'm gonna just take these two, uh, right click, and delete those two rows. Um, and now again, I'm gonna delete the stuff in these boxes so I don't accidentally leave some that shouldn't be there. And my first source was my dishwasher. Dishwasher, one word, I think so. Um, and then my clothes washer, I think that's what it's called and I think it's two words, but you know, you get the point. And this is gonna be in washes per week. Could be uses per week as well. Washes per week. And then these are in gallons per wash. So I'll just control C, control V that. And that, we want it to get us to gallons per day. So there's gonna be some more interesting math in that we're gonna need another conversion. You may have already guessed it, but if we have per week and we wanna to get to per day, the conversion we're missing is seven days per week. Now you don't have to reference uh, uh, seven days per week, you just assume that everyone knows that. Um, and maybe I'll put an S in there so it's plural, uh, just because we like to say it that way, seven days per week, great. Um, so, the dishwasher was two washes per week, clothes washer is one wash per week. Dishwasher was nine gallons per wash, clothes washer 20 gallons per wash. Now this math is not gonna be right. So here, do it on paper for one and then use Excel for the rest. And on paper, you'd see that, okay, if we wanna go two washes per week, um, and there's seven days per week, and we wanna get days on the bottom, then you're gonna divide by this seven days per week. So now we have two divided by seven washes per day, um, and then times this nine gallons per wash. But remember, if I enter this formula, it's gonna work just fine, enter. 
when I drag it down, it's going to break. The reason it broke is that these two came down just like we wanted to, but this one also came down and we didn't want that one to come down. Okay. So what I'm going to do, there's two ways to deal with this. Today, I'm gonna to teach you the way where we put dollar signs on it. So I'm gonna use F4 to automatically put dollar signs on it. The truth is, is we only need a dollar sign to be on the three because the dollar sign tells the three not to move. You could use F4 to change where the dollar sign is or you can just type it in. So I'll just go ahead without the F4 in case you're not finding the F4, come here and just type a dollar sign, enter. So that still works and now when I drag this down, this one works as well because these two came down with it and it's still stuck on that seven days per week. Um, and uh, uh, this number looks wrong. Um, let's see, what did I do? Uh, two gallons per wash, oh, I think that that's right. Um, great, uh, and that gets us to our 5.4 gallons per day. Um, this is the sum there. Cool, so um, now let's just total those things. Let's do a total daily, um, uh, or let's go daily total, monthly total, yearly total, those are the three things that we're gonna want. Uh, this, of course, is in gallons per day. This is in gallons per month. This is a little redundant, but it's nice to have gallons per year. So the daily total is just equal to each of these sums. That one, cl click, hit plus, this one, plus this one. That's our daily total, 113.4 gallons per day. Our monthly total, I think you'll see it now that we need another conversion for how many days per month. The assignment asks for March, so we'll just put 31 in there and call it days per month. But uh, let's make this cell orange so that people know that this is an input. You, could, you might wanna change how many days per month you're talking about. So then all we do is we say gallons per day times days per month. That gets us to gallons per month. Write it on paper first to see that that works. And that is too many decimals, so again, we'll come down like that. Um, and then we're gonna need our yearly, so let's just go ahead and put 365 days per year up here in our conversions. Um, and, uh, you know, I, if I wanted to be really tricky, what I could do just for fun, it's a little extra, is I could take this uh, gallons per day and make it so it doesn't move by putting the dollar sign there and allowing the F4 to move. So when we drag down, it multiplied by my days per year. Of course, you could have just said equals daily times days per year. Uh, we should make this much prettier. So these are, these are calculations. Um, so we'll give them that, that calculation color. Uh, they're calculations and they're also the final calculation. So we'll make them bold. Uh, let's bold actually everything. Ooh. Bold. Um, and let's put this all in like one big final box uh, like that. Um, I like that, cool. So now, oh, you know what? Let's also, let's shift these to the right, make that look a little bit better. Um, and uh, um, maybe we could give these little little lines in between. Uh, maybe that'll help people read it. Uh, we're right now, we're getting to the point that it's really up to you uh, what looks best. Um, uh, so that's looking good. We'll still need to clean the stuff up here. So that gets us our spreadsheet. Let's clean some of this stuff up here. So uh, instructions, conversions, and legends should be up here. Instru Ooh, instructions. Um, and uh, conversions, I like to make conversions really uh, not stand out. So I like the text color to be more of a gray and I like it to be italicized. Um, so uh, and I'm gonna move this legend um, maybe down to here. And here I'm gonna say conversions, units, and uh, citation, um, in case you needed a citation for those numbers. Um, I'm liking that. Uh, so then this is the first sheet. Um, so now I can clean this up. Uh, this sheet calculates the monthly, yearly, the total daily, let's add daily, daily, 
monthly, and yearly water uses based on data in problem eight from the Catch the Rain. Uh, we also need a 2D pie chart. Um, uh, I'm gonna take that out of the instructions because that's for us and not the user, but we'll go and do that. Um, take that out uh, and say, um, enter uh, values in the orange cells to find the totals below. Great, there you go. That's, I think that's good enough. Um, let's see if I remember vertically aligned. Let's go to the top here. I think that's gonna look a lot better. Okay, great. Um, the only thing left we have to do is to make the pie chart. Um, maybe I should make that a separate video. I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's stop this one.